Welcome to the Methodology Institute's SPSS video tutorial series, sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this tutorial, we're going to produce a simple scatter plot using SPSS, and for this example, we're going to plot income, which is the annual household income of respondents in pounds sterling, against their age. So, to generate the scatter plot, I'd suggest that under the graphs drop down menu, you select Legacy Dialogues and then click on the Scatter Slash Dot option. We can then stick with the uh, default setting which is for a simple scatter plot and then we click Define to select the variables that we're going to be working with. And in this case it makes sense that we put the income variable annual household income in pounds on the y-axis so having selected it from the list on the left hand side I just click the button next to the y-axis box and then respondents age in years we can move on to the x-axis. That's all we need to do at this stage and we click OK to produce the scatter plot. The scatter plot will now appear in the output viewer window and you can see that both axes are already labelled. That's according to the variable labels in SPSS. So we've got annual household income on the vertical axis and respondents age on the horizontal axis. Then you may well want to edit the scatter plot that you've produced and to do that you can double click anywhere on the chart area and this will bring up something that SPSS calls the chart editor which will give you access to a whole range of functions including for instance if we double click just somewhere on the um, background of our scatter plot you'll have the option to change the colour or remove the colour altogether. So that will select um, no fill and you see that we go from having the grey background to having a clear background. And you may also wish to add a fitted line to the scatter plot. And you can do that by selecting the elements drop down menu in the chart editor and then selecting fit line at total. And you can see that by default SPSS automatically adds a linear fitted line which in our example does appear to show that as respondents age increases so does their annual income and you can see that by the upward facing positive slope of the line. We can then easily change the method by which the line is fitted in the properties box here on the left hand side. So for instance if we wanted to see what a quadratic fit line would look like select that option and then click apply and we can now see that SPSS has added um, a quadratic fitted line onto our scatter plot which in this case you may find is actually more appropriate because as you might expect as respondents age increases certainly through their say working life up until their 60s you might expect the annual household income of respondents to be increasing but you may in fact find that uh, then as respondents enter retirement their income may fall slightly so in this case a quadratic fitted line may in fact be a better representation than the linear fitted line and so once we've finished editing our scatter plot we can just exit the chart editor using the close button on the top right um, automatically any of the edits we've made uh, will be retained at this stage and you will then see that your edited scatter plot appears in the output viewer window. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial in which we've seen how to use SPSS to generate a simple scatter plot for two interval level or scale variables.